back home for Christmas. Let's go. It was the night before Christmas in a place white and cold. A cute little penguin was out for a stroll, skipping along filled with glee, filled with joy. In his flipper he cradled his favorite toy. Little did the penguin know that on this fateful day, a cold breeze, a gust of wind, would blow his favorite toy away. Oh no. So he looked and he looked, his beak covered in frost. <clears throat> he looked up from his search and realized, oh no, I am lost. Now can we play with the control? We can. It's kind of slow, but hey, we could play with the control. I like that. I like that a lot, so. Hey, what up, penguin? How you doing? We're about to try to... We're going to try to get you home, okay? All right, don't you worry about it. Not only his toy, but his path was gone, too. And our poor little penguin knew not what to do. Oh, no. It's so slow, though. I can't move it. Like, move it fast? I can't. All right. Hmm. So he began walking with no hope in sight. Until from a distance he could see a small light. Oh yes I can. We gonna make it. It's Christmas by the way. As so, he moved ever nearer, it was clear it was a home. And outside, in the front, he could see a small gnome. That's probably the homie. I like the music. The gnome shoveled this way and that and was squinting and muttering fiddlesticks. They have gone missing. Uh-oh. He dug in the snow as the penguin, quite shy, cleared his cold little throat and said, Mister, might I ask your help? I don't know where I am. I am lost. I can't find my way through the snow and the frost. The gnome said, I would like to help you. I would, but my glasses are gone and my sight isn't good. If I could but find them, if they could be found, then I could assist you. Okay. They must be around. Where did you have them last? Asked the penguin, so cute. The gnome thought and answered, While gathering fruit, I was out picking berries, and the snow, how it fell. It frosted my lenses. I couldn't see well. I removed them to wipe them, but they slipped from my hand. And now they are gone. So you must understand that were I to guide you, you might go astray. If I can't find my glasses, I can't see the way. The lost little penguin felt sympathy for the sad, sightless gnome. And he set out once more. But instead of attempting to get home in haste, he would look for the glasses the gnome had misplaced. All right. <clears throat> so let's look for his glasses. Let's Maybe help. Maybe this rock was the place where he'd find the gnome's glasses, but no, they were nowhere behind. <clears throat> and this is where he was uh, picking the fruit, right? So, uh, yikes! Where where could it be? the glasses be here on the stump of this tree they were not it appeared but where could they be <laughs> let's get it bars 
Hey. The berry bush seemed like a wise place to search. And there, on a branch, like a bird on its perch, sat the glasses just where they had fallen. And so the penguin retrieved them and turned back to go. We got him. Now let's go back. All right. So now we now we gotta go back, all right? Now we gotta we gotta go back and uh, let's see. It was back. Uh. Uh. -oh. This He'd way. get back to the gnome and return him his sight. Then, once again face his disheartening plight. Being lost wasn't fun, but the penguin was glad that he'd gotten to help and was happy he had. Let's go. Hey. Why, you found my glasses, the tiny gnome cried. I can't thank you enough. Will you join me inside? The nope. penguin said, thank you, but no, for I should try to find my way home to this cold, lonely wood. The gnome said, oh, yes, you had mentioned before that you knew not the way to your very own door. Well, now that I see, I am happy to say, those candy canes there, they will show you the way. That's sick. I like that. That's nice. Alright, so, uh, let's go. This is a very pleasant game, and I like it. So, uh, yeah, let's go. The music is good too, and uh, uh oh, Frosty the, the Snowman. The penguin continued to walk down the track. When he came to a crossroads, and taken aback, he tried to decide which direction to go. But without a clear answer, just stood in the snow. You look like a guy who's in need of a hand, came a voice, and the penguin did not understand where the voice could have come from. For no one was there, save for three mounds of snow, piled up in the air. Down here, said the voice. Turn those peepers down south. <laughs> I may look like pebbles, but I'm a really a mouse. On the ground lay some buttons, carrots, some stone, which moved as it chattered in the snow on its own. Okay. You need some guidance, said the stones, and I reckon we can work something out if you give me a second and put those there bits that you see in their place you get your directions and i get my face also oh, okay cool 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 uh oh, i'm gonna put it right there as a face maker you've got impressive technique said the snowman and look now we both got a beak much better he said this was a good plan. Let me take a good look at you now that I can. Hey. The snowman was proud of the hey. He thanked his new friend and said, Look, I am sure that you won't have no trouble 
if you go to the right. But make sure that you're out of the woods before night. Okay. Screw it then, let's go to the right. Let's get this penguin home. The penguin did not stick around, wait or dawdle, and set off at once to the right with a waddle. But though he walked on just as fast as he might, soon dusk was upon him, and thereafter came night. Okay. The moon looked nice. What, do I just continue Why, walking? It's too dark to see said the bird with a chill when he tripped and he slid down the side of a oh. hill. Let's go. Wait, Deep that... in the woods, in the dark, all alone, frightened and tired and chilled to the bone. Faster! The poor little pig under stars bright and twinkling, was certain he heard far away a light tinkling. Was the sound he heard crickets? Was it ice in the trees? Or perhaps running water or a lyrical breeze? As he moved ever nearer, though it seemed far away, he felt sure it was bells, like you'd find on a sleigh. The penguin was moving past branches and bark when a man turned around and stepped out of the dark. The hey. man said, My goodness, you're only a child. What brings a young penguin out here in the wild? It wasn't on purpose, said the cold little bird. Perhaps, said the man, I could see you chauffeured to your home in my sleigh. For unless I am wrong, it's the next on my route, and the trip won't take long. Ho, ho, ho. I knew it. I knew it. Mr. Ho, ho, ho himself. After waving goodbye to the man dressed in red, the penguin was eager to climb into bed. He was glad to be home, but his grief was still there, for his toy remained lost in the cold winter air. But his mama was waiting with a blanket and tea. There were songs in his heart and bright lights on the tree. Hey. Even without his toy, he could hardly believe just how happy he was on this cold Christmas Eve. Something lost. Something found. Santa. Christmas, y'all.